Hello, World of Warcraft players. Today, I'm going to show you a Shockadin Holy Paladin guide. Now, Shockadin is a Holy Paladin that can DPS with shock and heal as well. Let's start off with the talents. Crusader's Might is a must-have. With Crusader's Might, whenever you use Crusader's Strike, it reduces the cooldown of Holy Shock and Light of the Dawn by 1.5 seconds. Next, I'd recommend Cavalier for mobility. It just gives you an extra charge. Uh, this is great for Mythics. Now, I'd go with Blinding Light. And I usually go with this regardless of whatever I'm doing a Shock it in or not. It's basically an AoE that also stuns, not really stuns them, but it like blinds everybody. As far as the next town, uh, you're, you're, you're good with either Devotion or Aura of Mercy. Uh, one Aura of Mercy heals people around you while Devotion Aura gives them extra armor. So it really doesn't matter. Now this, I would either go with Divine Purpose or Holy Prism. Holy Prism is a nice little move that either heals a bunch of people or, or it does a bunch of damage to mobs, depending on who you're targeting on. If you're targeted on a, a mob, it's going to heal a bunch of people. Or if you're targeted to a person, it's going to hit a bunch of mobs along with heal that person. Divine Purpose gives Light of the Dawn and Holy Shock a 15% chance not to start the cooldown and make their next cast free. So this is going to allow you to use Holy Shock more often, which is going to increase your DPS. I usually go with Holy Prism because it uh, gives you an oh shit heal. You know, when things go rough, you get an AoE heal out to everybody. And it also does damage. Next is the most important one, and it's Sanctified Wrath, which uh, it changes Avenging Wrath, which lasts 25% longer and also reduces the Holy Shock's cooldown by 50% for its duration. So this is pretty much where you do most of your DPS, right here with Holy. Sanctified Wrath. Regardless whether I'm shocking it or not, I always go with Beacon of Faith. It allows you to put two beacons of light out there instead of one. So you can uh, mark a second target with the beacon, mimicking the effects of the beacon of light. And your heals now heal both your beacons. So I usually put one on the tank and one on myself. You're really going to want to focus on critical strike and versatility because that's what's going to make your holy shock hit harder. You're going to also want the trinket horn of valor or you're going to want to get potions of power. The Horn of Valor increases your primary stat by 3,370 for 30 seconds, so it's awesome. And that's a trinket on Mythic. The Potion of Prolonged Power increases all stats by 2,500 for one minute. So if you can't get the Horn, the next best thing is Prolonged Power. I'd get the Prolonged Power anyways, even if you got the Horn so you can stack it. Here's how I have my weapon set up. Now, with your rotation, you're going to want to start with your Horn and your Crusader's Might. You would also use your Prolotion of Prolonged Power, but I don't have any on me right now. And then you're going to want to use Judgment, and then you use Holy Shock and Crusader Strike, and you move back from Holy Shock to Crusader Strike, because every time you use Crusader Strike, you will reset the cooldown for Holy Shock. Every once in a while, you're going to want to throw a Judgment in there. And when the group is low, you will use Light of the Dawn or Holy Prism. I would use Light of the Dawn before you use Holy Prism because that is it, Holy Prism has a larger cooldown. If things get really desperate, you can use your Hand of Tear, which gives everybody a dot or a hot. And that is the breakdown of the Shockadin. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. And please subscribe for more videos.